So the other day, I'm on a call with a friend of mine who works at TikTok, and we're discussing TikTok's approach to musicians and artists and the music industry. And it dawns on me how passionate he is and how dedicated he is to working with new musicians and new music and artists. And it's really interesting because we think about the big picture. We think about the conglomerate of TikTok, the big picture of Spotify or UMG, and we don't think about all of the people who work inside and their love and passion for making new music or working with artists and their new music. Anyway, I left the call and after I was thinking about how TikTok has so quickly revolutionized the music industry. If this was business, we would call them a disruptor because they've disrupted this, the whole industry. But not only have they disrupted it, but they've changed course for the entire music industry for the future. You see, throughout history, record labels in the music industry have always had three main jobs. In fact, the three Ds. Number one is discover. They have to discover the talent. Number two, they have to develop the talent. And number three, they have to distribute the music. Now, over the years, that's been diluted, partly because you can make your own music for free should you want to, you can distribute it yourself, and you have a lot more control. But technically, that is still what labels do. They discover, they develop, and they distribute. Now, TikTok's global head of market, Ollie Obman, recently came out and said, we are organizing the ecosystem of unsigned artists in a way that has never existed before. Now, the key to this phrase is ecosystem because an ecosystem isn't quite a record label, but bear with me because TikTok's owner, ByteDance, also owns SoundOn. Now, SoundOn is a distribution company. Now, as a distribution company, SoundOn, they offer advice for up and coming artists, they offer development for up and coming artists, and they offer opportunities for up and coming artists. So effectively, they're offering the discoverability, which is TikTok, the development and the distribution. I don't know about you, but that sounds a lot like a record label. Now, the thing here is as it develops where it's allowed to go, because think back 2018 and Spotify gets a little bit too big for its boots and it starts to do direct distribution deals and starts to give out advances. And the labels say, whoa, 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 whoa. This is absolutely a step too far. And they rein it in and Spotify stop. Now, at the time, that wasn't an ecosystem. That was Spotify saying, hang on, we've, we hold all of the cards. So if we sign the artists, we win. Whereas this isn't that traditional record label. What this is, is an ecosystem broken up in parts. Now, in all of this, TikTok is the social media company, therefore the distribution, but not really a threat to the labels. In fact, a big help to the labels, as we've seen recently with tracks like Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush. But TikTok has got very deep pockets. In fact, if you look at the major labels in the music industry, Warner Music and UMG, I think Warner Music is worth a reported $13 billion. I think UMG last year was reportedly valued at about $48 billion. Well, TikTok's been reportedly valued at around $75 billion. So this is not only a very powerful company, but because of that, it started to pull a lot of very important, very experienced people out of labels and out of the music industry into TikTok. Guys, quick interruption. You're clearly releasing music and serious about getting results. So have you checked out DK Music Business Academy? It's got over 50 hours worth of courses, including the roadmap to 1 million streams course. What have you got to lose? Seven day free trial, links in the description. Let's crack on with the video. Now, what's really interesting is recently, TikTok's owner, ByteDance, put out a job advert for an experienced A&R role someone to find and sign new talent. Now, if that isn't literally a record label, what is it? Now, I'm not the first person to bring up TikTok being like a record label. In fact, it's been brought up several times to the music industry and usually they sniff at it. But what's really interesting in this debate is we tend to think about it as what the labels can do that TikTok can't. And we don't think about it the other way around, which is what can TikTok do that the labels can't? So for example, the labels can't build and house audiences. As well as collecting fan bases, they can't really communicate with their fan bases unless it is through third party apps like TikTok or Instagram. And because of that, the labels don't have the same relationship with artists and therefore they don't see the same relationship between the listener and the artist. Now, is TikTok going to become a record label? No, of course it's not because it doesn't need to. 
because technically it is an ecosystem which represents all of the same things as the label. Effectively, what it's doing is saying, we are a label, but we've got a fake moustache on. The idea of a record label is old school, record label. We don't have records. We haven't had records for a long time, but we still have this traditional idea of discover the talent, develop the talent and distribute the music. And TikTok is saying, Yes, we will do all of those things, but what we will do it in a completely different ecosystem. And therefore, there's no reason to think why that can't just develop putting the music business in a completely different trajectory. For me, the question isn't, will TikTok become a record label? The question should be, what are the labels going to do to combat the fact that they don't have the same distribution that TikTok have? What I find really interesting is how over the last couple of decades, we've seen the music industry open up and get rid of those gatekeepers. And it almost seems like it's been pulled apart in two separate directions. And if that is the case, you start thinking, well, if you're going into two separate directions, who's going to win the battle? Who's going to win the race? The traditional old school record labels that own the music or the new social media companies that own the distribution. So I guess in answering the question, is TikTok becoming the biggest record label in the world? I guess you could say it already is. So guys, I want to know what you think. For me, being on a call with someone at TikTok who is clearly passionate and dedicated to new music and new artists and how TikTok can help that, that was pretty inspiring for me. I want to know your thoughts. Is there room and space in the world for record labels and the distribution companies as they start to swallow everything up in the next five to 10 years? And if not, what does that mean? Who's going to give away and who is going to be the master? I want to know your thoughts in the comments below. Otherwise, do me a favor. Can you hit that like button? Because it really, really does make a huge difference to the YouTube algorithm. Otherwise, take it easy. And I'll see you again soon.